hundreds of them collected and they made effigies of my photographs which came in the newspaper and they burnt my effigies in the fire. My parents on the other hand, three months later, they brought out advertisements in the newspaper saying that hereby publicly disowning and publicly disinheriting our son from the royal family and from the ancestral property because he is involved in activities which are not acceptable by society. I started receiving death threats from a lot of people uh, saying that you better keep your mouth shut otherwise uh, we will kill you. I am the 39th direct descendant of a 650 year old Gohil dynasty which was established in the 1370 AD. My first marriage was an arranged marriage but of course that uh, heterosexual marriage was not uh, forced upon me. I, it was my own choice uh, because uh, during that time uh, I wasn't uh, aware of my sexuality as I mentioned. I, I kind of got married at 25, but I came to know about my identity as, uh, at 30, which was five years later. I realized that that marriage didn't work because I had no attraction towards the female. It just happened that I got to make friends with uh, DeAndre on social media. Personally, in India, we were just friends. We had no intention of relationship. And it was the friendship which evolved into a relationship. We have been now 10 years into a relationship. So we are, we are doing good as partners. Uh... These are the things which are taught to you while you're growing up. How to stand, how to sit, how to talk, how to, how to eat. All these mannerisms are taught, taught uh, uh, you know, growing up. Uh, of course, there's, there's a very uh, protected uh, life we lead, you know, we have there are a lot of do's and don'ts and a lot of protocols to be followed. Basically, uh, uh, you're not allowed to do many things which you want to do. A person in my case would have been there, he would have committed suicide long time back. So when I came out, uh, the day I came out was, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the Holi festival. That day, I, my newspaper uh, article came out. And the people of uh, the Rajpipla, the town, were furious. They uh, made effigies of my photographs which came in the newspaper and they, they burnt my effigies in the fire. Uh, shouting slogans, there was protest uh, saying that he should be stripped of his title, he should be, uh, you know, uh, he has humiliated, put us all to shame. Uh, not only really the royal families, but the entire culture of India has been ruined. Uh, it has ruined a shameful act. And he should be hated, he should be allowed uh, by any of our social gatherings, he should be exiled, and so on and so forth. You know, they, they, uh, they, had, they had to literally call the police to, uh, to kind of uh, fail the mob because there was, it was, you know, there's a mob, you know, then there's a mob mentality how people uh, behave. When did you know? It was around uh, 12 or 13, I, I guess. Interviewed by the Kardashians, you know, who are very who are very popular amongst the youth. And uh, it was the Kardashian show which, which kind of made a miracle. You know, after I did the show in 2017 and I came back to India, all my cousins and nephews and nieces and my family members and a lot of friends who are homophobic towards me, they, they came to me and said, Uncle, can we have a selfie with you? And I said, wow selfie with me and I was so sarcastic to them. I said, but am I not a criminal? They said, no, 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 you're not a criminal. You're an angel. I said, my goodness. I have been married for now 10 years, but my husband, when he comes to India, his status is he's just a foreign tourist. He's, he has no other status in India, no security in India. And he has to leave the country every 180 days because uh, he, he can't get a, even OCI passport. You know, if, if I would be a female, then he could have got an OCI, but uh, he cannot get an OCI passport. 